Can I talk to you guys for a short minute about five common topics and using those? I know there's been a lot of questions about how do we come up with stuff for the interesting. So we listed our five common topics and we only today talked about um, definition, comparison, and then we introduced circumstance. So we have this issue, should Bear have forced Crispin to take the oath, becoming his bond servant? Sorry for the misspelling, this was quick. So we started with definition and we decided we would define our terms. So when you first look at your topic, definition, and you think of a term to define, we define bear. We threw, we just brainstormed very quickly a bunch of stuff about bear and we put it in our interesting column. Then we looked at that information. Do you see it in black there? That was our definition color. We used this black information and we talked about it and we tried to figure out ways that we could transition that information to either the affirmative or the negative. And so we had our negative information here and then we had all of that black over there we got from our definition of bear. Then we decided we would define Crispin. So I changed colors and I used blue. And so we have this whole list of stuff in our interesting where we just threw some stuff on the board that is, let's describe Kristen, Crispin. So we took that information and we talked about some of those and we put this information either in our in column or our affirmative column. Okay, so then we decided we would define what an oath is. So I used orange for that. We threw some brainstorm ideas up here about what it would be to take the oath. What does that really mean? And then I used my orange marker and we came up with some of our negative reasons and some of our affirmative reasons about why um, those, that information would help us decide should Bear Force Crispin to take the oath. So we, we said we could have kept talking about that, but we wanted to transition to comparison. So literally, we did a very short, because of time, okay, we did a very short comparison of Bear and Crispin, and I asked them in what ways are they the same. So we had this information here. Okay, we didn't even talk about how they were different. We talked about how they were the same. Notice the initial brainstorm, that information, I throw it into my interesting. This whole side of the board is my interesting, okay? So I took the comparison of Bear and Crispin and how they were the same, and we came up with a couple of reasons for affirmative and negative and how they could, they, you know, they're in similar situations. They can understand each other, or they could help each other. Or somebody came up with the idea that they're both outcasts that could create a bigger problem. It's like the blind leading the blind. So see how you can take those and you can make them go both directions. So then we decided, um, because I really needed to get into talking about circumstance, um, we just didn't even bother getting to the part of the conversation where we talked about how they were different from one another. But anyway, so we talked about circumstance and how we zero in to literally location, what's going on in our different locations. So we started with the fact that where are Bear and Crispin at this time? They're in an abandoned church. So then we just started, um, again, we were running out of time at this point, but we were able to think about the fact that they were in the abandoned church. We came up with some negatives. Bear could do anything, there's no witnesses, it's a dangerous location. We were like, well, Bris, um, no, he shouldn't because if it's an abandoned church, there aren't other people around to help Bear, he could just get away, he could run away. Um, then we zoomed out a little bit, we said, well, they're in an empty village. Well, what does that tell us? We have a little bit of um, stuff that came onto our interesting over here in my little purple, we have empty village, there's the plague, the villagers are probably dead. Um, so they talking about that information led us to a couple of new reasons that, well, um, if he was forced to stay with Bear, he might catch the plague if Bear decided to stay in the village. On the flip side, if Bear was to get sick from the plague and die, Crispin will be free. Um, so we had our reasons that we were able to take from the interesting, okay, because we used comparison, all right, we quickly, we threw down our ideas onto our interesting column, then we thought about them and we tried to figure out which affirmative or negative does that go into, okay? We also talked about, we zoomed out even a little bit more. This is what circumstance does. We move away from, you know, you just begin to zoom out of your locations. Sorry, I'm trying to throw this together really quickly. So um, 
yes, the abandoned church, back out a little bit. They're in an empty village, back out a little bit. There's woods that are surrounding them. So I used my little brown marker and we threw some interesting things up, some things that we thought would just go on to our interesting. We have woods, we have Acliff is out there somewhere hunting for Crispin, his mom's grave is in the woods and the woods are creepy. So we thought about those things. Oh, and then Acliff could find them. And so we decided that we could put some of that information either in the negative or in the affirmative. The woods were creepy. Crispin is scared to be alone, so maybe he should hang out with Bear. Um, Crispin is being hunted by Acliff, so maybe Bear will be able to help him with that. But I hope you guys get the idea that the interesting column is, is where you're putting your information to begin with. You use your five common topics to generate ideas. You throw down a whole bunch of stuff, and then you take a look at that information and try to determine, does this information belong in the affirmative or the negative? Many times the reasons honestly can be tweaked to fit both columns. So anyway, I want to encourage you guys to use your five common topics at home when you are generating ideas for your Annie charts. I hope this is helpful and I'm sorry I'm rushing and I need to go get these kids back in the classroom. All right, talk to you later, bye.